You know, Tamara and Michael have definitely strayed the path when it's come to raising their four kids and they need to get back on it. And I need to take care of something that they should have done a long time ago. And that's safety proof their house. I've got some wall sockets here and some doorknob covers. The best thing to do is to get down from a child's level so that you can see what they see. OK, I'd like you to come down here now, right down onto a child's level. It was amazing, the amount of things that I had to point out to Tamara about what she needed to do. I mean, why isn't she thinking the same as me? Look at this. I don't want the little ones touching this kind of stuff. They're mad rich. I had to block off the steep staircases. Yeah, excellent. Cover up sockets. Lock doors that shouldn't be open. You've got the hang of it quickly. And put all of her beloved cleaning supplies. He can get hurt if he plays with these. In one lock cupboard. Why didn't I do this from the beginning? I just feel so much safer. There we go, we're done. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. Bye. Now that the house has been childproofed, and Michael's gone off to work, I want to do something with a cleaning maniac that she wouldn't dare do with her own kids. Finger painting. Look at the paints! OK, let's put on your apron. Got to put your apron on. It's We're just about thing. ready. Oh, Gianni. And I think the most important thing, really, here is to let them know that it's all about having fun. Let them feel the fun of this activity that's happening this morning. At first, I was like, OK, she's not serious. I'm really going to do this. So we're all going to paint together. And I didn't want to stick my finger in there. I honestly didn't. This one's rad. Put I'm your gonna... finger in there and paint. And paint. Oh, it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> Just put your finger in. It's OK. We'll clean up after we're done. That woman had her children so well trained that they didn't even want to put their little pinkies into the finger pots. So, of course, she had to show them how to do it. Come on, Julian, look. Look, Mommy's going to put her finger in and, and put paint on this paper. This was just a fun activity for Mum to enjoy herself with the kids and to recognise that it's all right to let loose and get a bit messy. <laughs> Come on, Gianni, look. J for Gianni. No! So they weren't putting it on their hands, this finger painting. I'm like, OK, this is all my fault. What am I teaching my kids? I just felt like, oh, gosh, they're missing out. And they shouldn't be. I'm done. See, look, let me help you. I know that it must have been killing Tamara not to pick up some cleaning supplies. But actually, the fact that her kids were smiling and having fun nice. made it more enjoyable for Tamara as she continued to enjoy herself. Come on, let's, let's put handprints. Whoa, nice, nice. Gianni took a little longer, but he got there. It was just a great feeling. Like, it just makes me want to cry. It's such a happy feeling. Look at that. Look at their faces. They're yeah. loving it. I mean, this is enough to make you go, you know what, I can clear out the mess after, you know? I respect that Michael works really hard with his family business, but there's got to be a compromise. So we arranged that he would take a shorter day at work and come home for 2.30. But it was already an hour past our meeting time and he still wasn't home. So do you have any idea when Michael will be back? No. Would you mind if I called him? Of course not. Okay. Michael said that he was going to make his family a priority, but he wasn't keeping his word. And I wanted to know why he was so late. Hi, is that Michael? Hi, it's Joe. How are you? I'm very well. I'm just wondering whether you have forgotten our, our time. Right. Well, I would have appreciated a call out of common courtesy because that would now make you an hour late. So Michael turns up an hour after our meeting time and I needed to talk to him about his commitment to his family. I'm asking you to respect the fact that if I ask you to be back at a certain time, that's what I expect. I'm here for a short amount of time and I want to be able to help you, but I can't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. Yeah, the kids are important, but I can't abuse my work. And you're talking about neglecting your work, but you know what's being neglected right now is your family. Joe gave me a wake-up call. I do want to spend more time at home with the kids or try to make, 
not try, we'll make time for them. So I wanted to put Michael into the hotspot to see exactly how he would get on with the kids without mum. So I sent her away for the afternoon. Hi, have a good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'll get my stuff. I'm like, OK, I like this. So I just basically got my coat on, walked out the door, and left. Any idea of what you're going to give the kids for dinner? No, but I'm ordering pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Is that what you're ordering? Pizza. Are you being serious? Yeah, I mean, that's... Huh? I don't know how to... I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to cook. Up until this point, I really hadn't seen much of Michael with the kids, so I decided to really step back and just watch how he managed with the kids. Are you looking for it? That's not nice. That's not nice. Get down. <laughs> Straight away, things got really chaotic at dinner time, and Dad seemed really confused. No gum. No, no gum. No gum. No gum. Hey, so I thought it was a good time to step in. Daddy wants you to sit at the table and be a good boy and eat your pizza, OK? That's what I want you to say to him directly. So he understands Gianni, what you expect from him. I want you to sit at the table and eat. No playing with that. You have to eat your food. Good boy. OK, loving it. Good job, Michael, all right? You want to eat a little bit more? You didn't just make okay, up my Are bites. you asking him or are you telling him? Get Michael, if you ask and you say, do you want any more pizza? That leaves it open to say yes or no. If you're telling him, you're saying, I want you to eat two more pieces and then you can get down. Julian, eat two more slices of pizza and you can get down. Thank you, Dad. He needed a few pointers, but overall, Michael did really good with the kids. So you see, if he puts more time into his family, things will improve. Look, all four of them sitting here at the table. Well done to you. Thank you.